Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I picked up this camera. It feels like I shouldn't even be doing this. It's seriously been over a month since I've vlogged. But it's time to get back on here. It's time to get back into work. I was like on my deathbed and I just couldn't even function. Oh my god, the leaves are starting to turn red. I love that. You can't even see it because it's so bright. We'll talk about that a little bit more later because right now I'm running a little bit late. I have to go get Brian. He was with his grandparents for spring break and today is Friday and he wants to come home for the weekend before he goes back to school. So I'm going to go meet them because they live like an hour and a half away. So we usually meet in the middle when it comes to pick up and drop offs for him. So I'm going to go meet them really quick. And then I have a few errands that I need to run. I really want to go see this esthetician that is popping on TikTok to get new skincare i'm like out of all of my products and my skin is starting to break out a little bit i don't know if you can, yeah you can definitely see it i'm starting to break out and that could just be the hormones in my body right now but i also am out of like two or three products that i always use and so i just don't know which one it is so i like don't want to get skincare from sephora anymore and so i kind of want to go see her and get like medical grade skincare but then i'm also like dude if this is from me not using my skincare why would i change it like if it works so now i'm like kind of a little bit conflicted but i still think i want to go get like a face wash from her but she is hella far i think she's in like colleyville so once i get brian i'm gonna put the address in the gps and see how far that is from me and if it's less if it's like 30 minutes or less i will go if it's not honestly i'm just gonna go to sephora and pick up my skincare <laughs> bro why is there only 30 miles in my car <laughs> parker how do you feel better <laughs> I'm getting better. Oh, this morning sick is a lot. <laughs> it's like all day. Sickness. All day? Yeah, but it's finally starting to like not be as bad. I was like in bed for like three weeks. Mm -hmm. oh my. You don't know what it is, right? No. Yet? Oh, not yet. Like maybe Monday. Oh. Either today or Monday, Bill call. Let me know. I'll t yeah, I'll let you guys know for sure. Baby, Stuff like you that. You so pretty. Thank you. you <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Hello, my child. Oh, you finally started recording. <laughs> yeah we're finally back on the vlog and stuff brian was like mom like have you told youtube yet and i was like no i haven't because i've been dead and he was like you need to start recording him and parker both are like when are you gonna pick up the camera when are you gonna vlog when are you gonna do this i'm vlogging say hi hello how was your week i was good she got me a lot of stuff i'll show you guys when we get home like clothes and stuff oh. or what yeah, Brian is so spoiled by his grandma. No, like, I'm telling her, don't spend all this money on me. Guess how much money she's spent on me. How much? 165. Dang! Give me Hogwarts, too. She gave you what? Hogwarts. The game? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how Parker and I were like, we'll get you the game depending on your grades. And you end up getting it from her. So are you guys hungry or? Yeah, I'm kind of. Should we get Chick-fil-A now or should we wait till we get home? Because Ava's at um, Ava's almost at the house. Uh, Actually, I have some errands to run. Psych! Yeah, let's eat. <laughs> now, Gemma was supposed to have her spay at this one place, but they couldn't get me in for like months. And then I ended up finding this different place I was able to get her in sooner. But I had put like a deposit down on the first place, but I canceled it in time to be able to get my deposit back. Oh. But they told me that I had to come pick up my deposit in cash. So, and it's been like a month and I haven't gone to pick up the deposit. So I need to look up the address of that place. Dang, the popo is here deep. Look how many police officers that is, Brian. Oh my God. So I'm going to stop really quick so that I can look and see where that place is. Because oh, I, found I this watch on the think it's in Irving, which is where we're at right now. Oh, Brian got braces since the last time that we were vlogging. I did. Okay. Let me look for this place. Brian, everybody's wondering how you feel about having a baby in the house. I can, how does that, how, why, why are they asking that? Huh? From TikTok. I told TikTok I just haven't talked to YouTube about it. I don't want one. <laughs> what do you 
mean? That hurts my feelings no, when you talk no, like no, no, that. No, like, I want one, but like, um, when I was at Titi's house, she had these, oh, my aunt's house, and she had these two twins. And when one of them cries, it's so loud. And when both of them cry, my head... We're like, not having like, twins, though. Yeah, his aunt just had twin girls. They are so, so cute. And he spent the weekend there, or like a few days there, or whatever. I know, but still, if he cries and the baby cries, it's still gonna make my head hurt. That's Brian's thoughts on that, y'all. Everybody's like, how does Brian feel about it? He, he's like an old man, so he likes peace and he likes quiet. <laughs> and a baby is obviously gonna disrupt that. Maybe, the baby might be like you when you were a baby. You were so calm. I hope. You never cried, like you just were there with us. You were always were chilling and relaxing and stuff. I hope the baby's like so that. we'll see. Okay, let's go get my deposit back. That was easy enough. For some reason, I thought I put like a $60 deposit down, but I guess it was only 40. Brian, I'll just give this to you. Why for your allowance? So you don't have to keep asking me. I can not even ask you. Yeah, okay. Every time we go somewhere, he's like, mom, just give me this with my allowance. Mom, just give me this with my allowance. What's up next? Skincare. Bro. 27 minutes. Didn't I say if it's less than 30? Ugh. I don't want to drive that. I don't want to drive that. I don't know. Okay, I need to call first and make sure they're open. So if I drive that and they're not open, that's going to suck. I feel like it's only going to be 27 minutes from here, but how far is it going to be from home to get back? Ah! Closed today. Imagine if I would have drove there. Okay, well, I need some food. I need to eat something. Okay, we're going to figure out food and then... We'll, we'll go for in there. Actually, Brian, let me see your iPad so I can turn your location back on. Boy, I do not like that your location was not on I this whole like, week. I definitely did not just drop my phone. Why do you have Discord? Uh, I was gonna uh, do it, but I asked Parker and he said no. I yeah, just, so just delete it right now. Yeah, I just never deleted it. Let's delete that. Why can't I have Discord? Because you're nine. I'm just, okay. I'm just gonna talk to Andrew. No. You can text Andrew. You don't have to talk to him on Discord. Oh my god, technology just overwhelms me. Okay, let's go home. Well, let's go get food and then go home. I think I'm feeling chicken express. We're back home, we're eating lunch. The cleaners are here and they just cleaned downstairs. And this is the first time that I am able to be down here without like being really sick. I haven't really talked about um, all of that on here. I kind of talked about it a little bit on TikTok. Basically, I've been like really allergic to my house and I've only lived in my room. Sorry, I'm like trying to fix the lighting on this. So I'm downstairs right now and I feel fine. This is literally the first time that I just feel fine. Like usually I'll just like tough it out and come down here and spray like for breeze and stuff and like, but still be feeling sick. This is shaking because Oliver will not stop moving, but I feel fine. Anyways, we're back home. We're eating Chick-fil-A for lunch. And Brian's about to give us a haul of what he got while he was with his grandma and grandpa. All right, so the first thing, I just got a bunch of bowls to school. Okay. So, yeah, I got that. And I got the new Hogwarts game. Nice, you excited? Yeah. Pink pineapple. Dang, this man's bringing a grocery store home. <laughs> That's not the most grandma thing of her to send him home with. And then I got another Prime bottle, and that's lemon lime. This pop flavor prime. What are these? Are these um, energy drinks? Oh no, they're just hydration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some things like the little things that you put in your mouth. Mm -hmm. The little uh, breath straps. 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 That's it. Nice. And then some clothes I just brought from. That's Brian's haul from spring break. <laughs> I don't even know if I even said on here that I'm pregnant. I feel like I've just been like talking about it and I didn't even say it, but I just feel like if you follow me and watch me on here, then you obviously follow me and watch me on either Instagram or TikTok and you just like already know. But if you don't, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Happy Easter. What? Whenever I put like my announcement video on TikTok, Parker and I had like sat down that day and filmed like a sit down video, like saying, oh, I'm pregnant, blah, blah, blah. But it just wasn't the vibe. So I decided not to upload that and yeah. just kind of just what continue with my vlogging. Just put it in your mouth and leave it on your tongue. The whole thing. 
What's wrong? This is gonna make the the teeth gonna make it worse over it's mint. Spicy. <laughs> Anyways, Parker and I had filmed that video and it just like was not the vibe. Like first of all, it's like kind of awkward because I don't ever just do sit down videos and we had to do a sit down video and we we're just like sitting there talking about it. I was still feeling very very ill, but I wanted to like announce the pregnancy because I wasn't able to post on social media because I like disappeared and I just was gonna have work that I needed to post and I just like was just posting work and I did not like that I just was posting work without telling people an explanation. You're talking extremely fast. I know because I just feel really repetitive. Oh, we filmed that video, like a sit down video saying like, oh, I'm pregnant, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I rewatched it and the audio was really bad because we filmed it outside because I couldn't be downstairs. I didn't want to film it upstairs because the room was just chaotic. So we filmed it outside and the audio was terrible. We looked exhausted. It was just not the vibe. I'll like insert a clip really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, bye everybody. That's our pregnancy announcement. We're pregnant. Yes, we're having a baby. So <laughs> your boy gonna, did it. Your boy did that hopefully thing. Hopefully this will. <laughs> Yeah, when he gets here, I'll have him like hop on the camera, obviously, because I'm just back to vlogging. It just feels more like organic and real for me to vlog and not like sit down and do like a sit down only video. It just feels weird. I don't know. Ryan hasn't seen the bump in a few days. It's getting bigger. Kind of. Kind of. This is what? Stop. So, We're having a jit. Never mind, let's not do this. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. Don't call it that. Oliver's been acting out since we found out we're having a baby. You're being okay, we have to do this later. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, you guys are so chaotic. No, that's all I had to say is we're having a baby. We're having a baby, y'all. That's it. Like, there's not much else to talk about. We're just gonna add more. We're just gonna next. continue to vlog, and I will talk about it then. Like, I I don't want to do like a whole sit down thing because it's just awkward for me. So we're having a baby. He's about to get on call. Ava's gonna be here. Oliver needs to finish eating. <laughs> Every time I turn the camera, he's doing. Something. He's crazy. Yeah. So everybody asking like, oh, how is Oliver taking this? He's taking it very well. Ava, come here. Yes, it's green leaf hurlum. Mom. Look, she just like, boy, get your hand off me. He's trying to pinch you. Can you say Patrick's say? Oh, uh, oh, dang. I was going to say pinch grandpa, but he's wearing green. Eva, what'd you do? What'd you do this week? <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> no, see, I'm a big girl. I don't want to be carried, of course. What you do? Dang! Remember when Oliver, what you put in your mouth? Mine is sweet. He has like an addiction to warheads, but he's also scared of them. Yours mine, is sweet now? Mine's sweet now. I was gonna eat mine and Brian's like, are you sure you can eat that? They think that I can't do anything because I'm pregnant. You can't. Three, three, two, one, go. <laughs> no, I'll go, I'll go to 10. One, uh -huh. nine, 10, eat it. <laughs> Mine's sweet. Woo! Mine's sweet. <laughs> Good morning. It did not end the vlog yesterday. I lay down and I took a nap, even with all the screaming children around. Like, I just cannot stay up some days or, like, 
every day <laughs> so i fell asleep and then i woke up and i was starving so we went to get some food with my sister well my little sister well i guess they're both my little sister like crystal the one that you guys have seen and the baby ava and my dad and the boys and parker and we came home and just hung out and chilled and talked and went to bed it's the next day it's already noon and I haven't gone downstairs yet because I'm super scared because I'm already feeling kind of gaggy right now. And I sometimes just cannot be downstairs. I've talked about this a lot. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I don't want to be repetitive and annoying. But some days it's okay. It's really weird. Some days I can go down there and I do gag, but I like cover my face and I kind of just like get used to it. And then some days I just cannot be down there like all day. I stay in my room all day long. And I'm already like gagging just thinking about going downstairs. I know this might sound so dramatic, but like until you experience it, you will never know. So I don't know if today is going to be like one of the days I can go down there. Update on breaking out. It is so bad. And I'm like, I was really convinced that I was going to have a boy. And now I'm like fully convinced I'm going to have a girl because I'm breaking out so bad. Like, look at this. It just... This is just not anything that's ever happened to me with the boys. But then again, like, I know I'm older than when I had the boys and, like, pregnancy is different for everything. But this is just, like, a, like too drastically different. Like, not one similar symptom right now with this pregnancy compared to the boys. So, I'm just, like, bro. At least if it's a girl, I'm, like, okay, I understand, like, why my pregnancy is this way because it's a girl. I'm, like... People say that girls like ruin you, but if it's a boy, I'm just gonna be like, bro, why are you doing me like this? Oh shit, my slipper. Anyways, Parker has to make dinner and breakfast if it's like a meat product or like something that's really smelly outside because we had a really, really bad experience. He like made a steak in the house and then he made, I think it was baked potatoes because I was craving baked potatoes and he turned on the oven and I got so fucking sick. I just, oh my, dude, I was like sick because I was throwing up. And then I was like having a panic attack because I felt so miserable and like I could not stop. I just was crying. I was throwing up. It just was really bad. So since then, he's always, like, he's just made like bacon and stuff on the grill outside. So he's doing that right now. And Ava, my little sister, is on her way over here. I'm pretty sure her mom's gonna drop her off in a minute. And I'm gonna try and go downstairs. So. I'll swear y'all the gagging because I always gag when I go down and then I'll I mean I guess we'll see if I come back in this room and I'm back in here I'll probably end the vlog I'll show you guys the baby clothes and end the vlog because I can't really do anything in here except be on my computer and my phone and if I'm able to stay down there then we'll continue the vlog and I need to go get the boys stuff for baseball so we need to go to like dicks we'll see <laughs> hello hello good morning good morning Christmas PJs in March? Huh? You love your Christmas PJs? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm going to get off my iPad Saturday. You need to talk to your dad about getting your iPad back. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I had to take a nap before we go do anything for the boys sometimes I just get like I mean obviously I'm growing a human I just get really exhausted and I start to feel a little bit delusional so I didn't really I just like rested I just laid down and just like just didn't think about anything for a minute so ignore my dirty clothes camper we're about to go get stuff for the boys baseball because Brian starts tomorrow and our life is about to be consumed with it He's going to have baseball Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I haven't even got Oliver's schedule. So Oliver will most likely have practice like on Wednesdays, and then he'll also have games on Saturdays. So our life is about to be consumed with sports again. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys some baby stuff I got. If you're not new here, then you know like retail therapy is a huge thing for me. It does make me feel better. So I've just been getting some stuff. I can't really like hold myself back like baby stuff is so cute I don't know the gender yet and by the time this goes up. I'll probably know the gender though when I first found out I was pregnant I started to vlog and I was filming some stuff if those aren't like super I don't know if I'm just like not super emotionally forward and like just charged up by my emotions I'll insert those clips in here honestly can't remember like what my feelings like 
not what my feelings were, but like just what I was feeling. I was super anxious when I first found out I was pregnant. Like I still am, but that was like on a different level before I got an ultrasound. Before I saw like a heartbeat and stuff, that's when I was recording all of that stuff. So I just was like super, super anxious and it definitely affected my mood. And then I was starting to feel sick. So I do have clips before I even like got an ultrasound and stuff of when I first found I was pregnant and I think like I have a lot of clips. I don't know what I'm going to insert but if any of them are like insert worthy and not like super like you can tell I'm like on the anxious bow, I'll insert those for you guys to see. In one of those clips I did show some stuff that I picked up from Target. So I'm going to show that now and then if that part of the vlog is okay to sh like if those clips are okay for me to show I'll just like speed through the vlog the haul in that clip <laughs> okay so I have some stuff that is like for a baby girl or for a baby boy like this is too fucking cute for me not to get right now and I can also return it because Target you can return stuff the stuff that I got that could either be for a boy or for a girl was from Target because the clothes are only like 12 bucks from there so it's not like that much of a loss but like the nicer onesies and stuff I try to just get like neutral things because they're more expensive and harder to return I'm terrible at returning stuff when I have to return it online I got this little jump set I think like this could definitely be for like a little girl or a boy let me show you all the Target stuff first this Easter set for next Easter, because obviously I'm not going to have a baby this Easter, but next Easter I will. And I got the same set in like this cute pinky coral color. And I got it in this color for it's a, for if it's a boy, but could also go for a girl. This one, this one is so cute. I wish like this had like little ruffles if it was for a girl, but whatever. If it's for a boy, it's still really cute. This outfit, same as the blue one, but it's like a burnt orangey color and I got this I don't remember getting this honestly the same another one in like this like neon mint color super cute got this this little top with the bottoms same one but in pink I have really small babies and so like the newborn stuff is even going to be too big from my experience with the boys so I'm definitely gonna have to get like some preemie clothes for the first like two or three weeks and then last from Target I got this little romper because I just like could not not get this look how freaking cute it is it kind of looks pink on the camera I think but it's like a white cream color with hearts on it and like the open back then for like the fancier stuff there's this online I don't know if it's just online but it shows up on my like facebook ads and like instagram ads like all the freaking time and i didn't have like a small baby whenever i was seeing this so i never got anything from here but this is the brand i don't know if it's popular or not like i know the kite baby is really popular and once i find out the gender i'll definitely get some from there but i don't know if this is popular or not popular or not got some of those like night sleepers that tie on the bottom for when they're first born and it's like easy to change them without having to get them all undressed. This one has little flamingos on it. Parker's favorite animal or bird or whatever is a flamingo so I thought that was cute. This one it has like cute parrots on it. I love this one and obviously I had to get this one. This one's like totally my vibe. It has like the evil eyes and stuff like that on there. I got some sleepers these are zero to three months but these are going to be so big i know for like the first two months so i want to go back and see if they have like like newborn or like preemie so i can get some more but i got this color um because i figured this would be cute on a boy or a girl so like neutral look how big this is for zero to three months like my babies are like this and then I got this green one. And I got black. Because you can just like not go wrong with black. Almost done. This other brand that I see all the time. I don't know how popular it is. Probably just like my social media is um, giving me ads and I'm falling for it. The brand. P-I. It's like Pip, I guess. This little top. Look how cute this little top is. The bottoms. And I got this in zero to three months. And I got the exact same one <laughs> in like preemie or newborn. 
like so 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 tiny it's like a really good deal i think it was like buy one get one 50 percent off or like buy one get one free or something so i just ended up getting two of the same colors because the other ones were like pink and blue and stuff like that and i didn't want to commit to colors I'm telling y'all right now if i'm having a daughter this is like the only neutral thing she's gonna have because pink is my favorite fucking color it's always been my favorite color and i've always had boys and so if i am having a daughter like everything she owns is gonna be pink i know people are like oh i like like the neutral colors on the girls too no 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 no, no. we're doing pink everything sorry <laughs> all of his teacher got me this which is really sweet she like spoils the shit out of him she got me like this belly oil and this belly balm from honest as soon as I announced that I was pregnant, the amount of companies that messaged me asking if they could send me belly oil, I'm never gonna need belly oil in my life. Even though I already bought some for myself, I should have just freaking waited because the amount of belly oil that I've received, which I'm not even mad at because obviously I'm gonna need and want it, especially in the summer. Bump today. She's bumping, but she's looking a little, I don't know. Some days like it looks way bigger and then some days it just looks kind of Smaller. I'm also wearing black and like a tight jumpsuit, so it um, kind of like squishes my belly. But this is the bump shot for today. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I'm pregnant. But I'm about to pee on one of these. You're probably like, why are you taking a pregnancy test and already telling us you're pregnant? This is why. I already took these and obviously they are very positive but they're like the winky dinky ones and so I want to have this one whenever I do tell people okay I was trying to get back out here to show like the lines before it said this but every pregnancy test that I'm taking is immediately coming out pregnant. So yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, the mall's so busy. I just ran into Sephora to get some stuff and almost threw my brains up. It was so embarrassing. Wow, both of them are sleeping. I'll show you guys what I got. It's not anything new because I just had to like get new stuff because I think that's why I'm breaking out or it could just be because I'm pregnant. But- You're pregnant? Yeah got the bonding oil from Olaplex. I know people don't like Olaplex. I don't like the shampoo conditioner either, but I do like that stuff. <sighs> then I got this. All of this stuff is just stuff that I'm out of. And then I got the kombucha. Does it actually do stuff for your face? Yes, look at my face. I'm out of all of this and look at my face right now. What if you just use those products instead of all the other ones? And I got more face wash because Parker likes to use my face wash and I run out What's of it bomb? in like a month. Sol Hwasu. Sol Hwasu. Yeah, I like that face wash. It's like very gentle on the skin. I would say though, I don't feel as clean with this one as I did with the kale one. Yeah, I was gonna get the kale one, but it just strips your face. That's the only thing about that. Like it is really good, but it, sh it takes everything out of you. And it's cheaper, so if you're going back and forth, I would probably go with the youth to the people. So we're gonna go to In-N-Out, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because and just hope that's long enough. I think it will be. Bye guys. So I'll see you in my next vlog. Hopefully it won't be in two months. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.